Good evening guys, uh, I thought I'd put this video together because quite frankly I am up, not upset, wrong word, right, just disappointed, yeah, I'm disappointed um, in some of our supporters who, look, let's put it this way, we're not Arsenal, yeah, we're not Arsenal, like, we'd, I'd like to think we're a little bit more more classy, yeah. I mean, all you have here is fucking sorry out, sorry in, sorry out, sorry in. And this is right across the board, don't matter whether you're an old fan or a young fan or someone that's just come on the scene recently and started supporting Chelsea or not. You know, we have supporters out there that want to see the, the back of the guy and I completely and utterly get it. I do get it um, because the results have been awful. But I just think we, as a supporters, we're, we've been fucking spoiled, really spoiled. 22 years of you know, 22 trophies, I mean, you, you, you kind of get used to it. And um, we have chopped and changed managers down the years. And like I've said in previous videos, I honestly believe we're in genuine transition right now, where you've got to remember that um, from all the changes, apart from AVB, because this was the exact same scenario there with him, um, every manager's been brought in with a track record of winning trophies, whereas Maurizio Sarri hasn't, he hasn't won anything. But what he has got, he's got a record of playing this incredible way of football, which we haven't seen yet. We've seen bits of it, the start of it, at the start of the season when we were knocking the ball around a lot quicker. But he hasn't had the time to develop it. Been brought in to change the style, yeah. And uh, what happened at the weekend? And I'm, I'm seriously not defending it in any way, shape, or form. It's our worst performance for 30 years. But Manchester City are an absolute class side. They've been built with lots of money got a definite uh, philosophy to the way they play. Uh, uh, fantastic in uh, monopolising all the space and getting in behind us and creating chances. And we looked ordinary and secondary. And yes, I get why people just want rid of this guy and everything else. And I do get it. So with some of the names that are being, you know, um, put out there, like Zidane and Lampard and all that. But let's talk about them too. Zidane Zidane. Zinedine Zidane, right, is going to want us to spend money. He's going to want to strengthen that side. And is Roman going to do that? Roman certainly hasn't been doing that um, in recent years. We've got a completely different philosophy now as a football club than what, what we used to have. Um, you've only got to look at the side in 2010 and look at what we had in terms of the depth, in terms of the squad, but also the class that we had in that team. And then look at the side right now. If it's about winning trophies and it's not about style, then I completely and utterly get where people are coming from. But Maurizio Sarri has been brought in to change the philosophy. He hasn't got the players, you know, in, in order to do the, what he's trying to do. He's frustrated because we're not seeing his style of football. People say that you can't do that, you know, in the Premier League. Well, people, you know, say that about the way Pep Guardiola's playing right now, but he is. And he's doing it. And if you've got someone as good as Pep Guardiola that's got unbelievable amounts of praise from Maurizio Sarri and the way he plays, because don't forget Man City played Napoli and he knows only too well. They played against his side there at the time. Um, you know, you have to respect that factor. What, look, what, what do people want here? Yeah. Um, I mean, do we want to see some of our kids coming through? Do we want to see the style of play changed? Or is it we just want to keep chopping and changing and winning, 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 winning? Is that what we want? Or, you know, are we all prepared to wait and see how it all develops and then eventually get the real deal and play the way in which Napoli played? Because I've got to be honest with you, I've watched some of the videos of the way Maurizio Sarri got his Napoli site to play and it was exhilarating. It takes time, this. You can't just... You know, all right, we've been beating my Manchester City. Yeah, it's terrible, absolutely terrible. And it's something that none of us are used to, yeah? But I just think we need to be calm here, yeah? I just think we need to just put things into perspective. We were never going to win the league this year, never. Never, ever, ever in a million years. He said it right from the start, it was honest, and uh, it was absolutely 100% correct, right? But we are still in with a top four uh, opportunity. Uh, there's only one point that separates us Manchester United and Arsenal for that fourth spot. So, you know, it's still up for grabs. Still up for grabs. 
and, uh, and, and and possibly a cup competition. And we're in every single one of those cups still. We're going to Wembley for a final, where I really don't believe we'll play as bad as what we did against Manchester City um, on Sunday. Because it's a, it's a cup, you know, it's, it's, it's a completely different game. I just think it'd be a, t a totally different performance, let's put it like that. So we've we got a chance though, we've still got a chance, you know, it's a football game for goodness sake, yeah? And also, we are still in the FA Cup. <laughs> We're still in that, we're still in the Europa League. We win that, we get in the Champions League anyway. I just think we just need to put things into a little bit of perspective, yeah? Uh, would I like to see Zinedine Zidane as the manager of Chelsea? Of course. Would I like to see Frank Lampard become our manager? Of course. But not right now, not while he's cutting his teeth. You don't want to ruin his legacy. You know, don't get me wrong, I think we'd all probably give Lampard, I think even if he went down, we'd give Lampard the time of day to build us back up. You know, such is the love for Frank Lampard. I get that, I do get that. And I've heard it also said about Gianfranco Zola as well. Do we really want to ruin his legacy? Is he good enough? I mean, he's certainly not got a fantastic managerial uh, career sort of statistical analysis behind him, has he? Um, so I just feel we need to be a little bit more calmer, yeah? Because all I keep, you know, has he gone yet? Has he did? It's full of it, absolutely full of it. And we're better than that, we really are. We have got to ask ourselves as football supporters, you know, where are we going with this? Have we not got the patience for fucking five months, six months? You know, you know. I keep reading things like Chelsea, no matter what the result, Chelsea till I die. Well, you know this, that, and the other. But in the same token, it's, it's accompanied by you know posts and tweets that are all going with the same message: get rid of him. You know, I just feel we need to have some fucking patience, man. We really, really do. You cannot basis on four or five months we did it before all right with avb and i'll tell you now roman abramovich was not happy with that because he was brought in to do a job he was brought in to bring the average age of our squad down and he was also uh, brought in to play a certain style of football to change the way the philosophy you know in which we play roman's always wanted that style he's always wanted pep, pep Guardiola, and we missed out on him twice you know by munich man city and, you know, he's a fantastic coach. And the bar, no matter what now, right, has been raised, yeah? Manchester City have raised that bar. And, you know, you've got to step up to the plate, yeah? To just to stay with them. You look at Tottenham, right? You look at Liverpool, right? They're having to step up and play better than they've ever done before. The best statistical uh, performances of both clubs for decades, decades. And still Man City are there, yeah? We all know, well I certainly fucking do, how bad things were back in the day. You know, I remember putting fucking money in the buckets, writing checks out to Chelsea, just to keep them afloat. They were bad times, that's proper bad times. You know, when Clive Walker fucking scored, yeah? They saved us from the drop to the third tier. Third tier. So yeah, I do remember relegations. I remember Zenith Data System Cups and full members cups. Trips to Wembley where 50,000 Chelsea fans are inside a stadium, which is really just a Mickey Mouse tournament. But it meant something back then because it was a trip to Wembley. I remember 1994 when Glenn Oddle, you know, got hold of this club and really, you know, started to turn it around and take us back to those fantastic days of the 1970s. Listen, it's in our history, it's in our DNA, but I don't remember that. Through the 80s, all I remember is relegation and fucking crowd violence. <laughs> That's what it was all about, you know? When you went to Chelsea, it was just the experience, yeah? And I just feel as supporters, we got more fucking class, more class than fucking Arsenal. And we're used to it. Their fucking channel, it's a pantomime, yeah? Week in, week out, we've watched them down the years. Wenger in, Wenger out, Wenger in, Wenger out. They're always fucking either over exuberant, right, where they think they're going to win the Champions League, or they're fucking on the floor on their knees, you know, where they're so fucking distraught with their own side. We need, to, we need to give ourselves a little bit of patience. I know it's because we've been totally spoiled. We have. If you've gone 22 years and winning 22 trophies, because people forget, people always say, you know, you, you were formed in 2004 and all that bollocks. Listen, Viali, yeah, won us five trophies. We already had in the bag three European trophies before Roman came along. Let's, let's have it right here, yeah? 
you know, and you've got, really got to look at our record the last 22 years. Last 22 years of my life, I've seen Chelsea win everything. Absolutely everything. Knocking on the door every year. Every fucking year, yeah, we're involved in something, yeah? And maybe, just maybe, this might be that one year. But this, we're doing this. You've got to remember this, right? We're doing this because we're not doing it because we're out to like, win something. Obviously, we want to win things, yeah? This is all about style, yeah? This is about changing the style, changing the philosophy, and it takes time. You can't just do it overnight. You just can't expect that to happen. If it's not about style, then, yeah, by all means, get Zinedine Zidane in. But let's not ruin Frank Lampard's legacy. Of course, I want Lamps back. I want John Terry back. I think Chelsea could do with John Terry right now. Pat a check next season when he hangs up his gloves. Get him in. Ashley Cole. You know, we missed out on that one. I would have had Ashley Cole at Chelsea. You know what I mean? Because those players need to know what it's like to play for Chelsea. But you know what? They know that anyway. Those players, right, are champions, yeah? Twice in the last four years. So they know what to do and how to go the extra mile and get over the line and everything else. This is a completely different challenge. Completely different challenge. We're asking them to play in a completely different style, off the cuff, sexy fucking football, sorry ball, yeah? That's what we want. So what we're we saying, we can't fucking, we can't wait for it. We'll chop it before it even starts. So what are we going to do then? Go back to, you know, sort of methodical type football, winning football, but never actually get to where we actually really want to be trick is to basically have it both ways like what Barcelona did yeah and now Manchester City where you're playing incredibly great football really sexy on the eye off the cuff free flowing football and winning yeah to get it happening at the same time that's the trick isn't it yeah well that could be us that really really could be us I just feel right we just need to just hold it for a minute we are in a genuine genuine transitional period in our history you know people, people talk about it's a transitional period you know we've never been in this situation right this is we're changing everything about it we've got Roman Abramovich right now where we don't know whether he's coming or going let's be honest we don't we've got the stadium on hold and we're certainly not spending as big you know going out there and literally dominating the transfer market and, and, and doing what we used to do um Certainly not these days, yeah? So we don't know. We might have new owners next year. The staging might be on. There should, there should have been... There should have been shovels in the ground, in, you know, in, in the pre-season. I just feel we need to put things into perspective here, guys. We're not fucking Arsenal, yeah? We're Chelsea FC. We've got a lot more fucking class than they will ever fucking have, yeah? And we need to put it into perspective, yeah? Just, you know who we are, yeah, because we're making ourselves look like fucking idiots, you know, like fair weather fucking fans, you know, the, the opposition like to call us fucking plastic, but what what, what we're saying then, you know, because because we got beat a couple of times, and yes, they're fucking horrible defeats, terrible defeats, but let's not fucking forget, we beat, we beat Man City, you know, early on in the season, we're in a final, you know, all's not lost, and this is one hell one hell of a fucking month. We got Malmo in midweek, then we got Manchester United rejuvenated under Solskjaer on the Monday night. And then we got Malmo again in the return leg. And then three days later, we played Manchester City again at Wembley. And then we got Tottenham three days later. It's fucking tough, man, for any side. So when people are saying you've got two weeks or you've got four weeks, why don't we just fucking get... We've not sung a fucking song for the geezer, right? It's like we don't give a fuck. We, we don't even fucking sing sing our arts out at Stamford Bridge. It's like a fucking morgue. Unless it... I mean, all right, the Tottenham game, the semi-final against Spurs. Yeah, it's a cracking atmosphere. Man United. But you expect it, don't you? But it's a bread and butter game. We're not getting beyond the side. Look, all I can say, right, is this, yeah? It was a terrible performance... And yeah, right, those, the supporters that went up to Manchester City, all the fucking love and respect in the world for them, yeah? But we need to put things into perspective, right? This is all about changing of styles. If it was about winning trophies, we would have brought in someone with a lot more of a more prestigious record, yeah? 
with a history of winning trophies. We haven't. We brought this man in to change the philosophy. Anyway, listen, I've had my say and uh, win, lose or draw up the Chelsea.